my name is Camille Carson. I'm eight years old, and my number is 102. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi, do you... What? Do you mind if I eat with you? Oh, not at all. Sit, sit, sit. Thank you. I hate not having anyone to eat with. It makes me feel very... I know. I'm Alice. I, I know. You were Dorothy, right? Yes. I pay attention during roll call. I pay attention to everything. My big sister thinks I'm very absent-minded, but I'm very observant, is the truth. Well, most people don't know my name because... You just moved here. That's right. You're very... I'm very observant. Also, the first day you were in my class, you gave a speech. My name is Dorothy, and I just moved here. From Kansas. I know. I'd love to visit Kansas. What for? It's a very boring place. No, I don't think so. I think it's exciting. But you've never been there. Exactly. What? Even the word is exciting. Kansas. Kansas. It sounds so strange and wonderful, doesn't it? No. It does. No, I live there. There's nothing. Why did you move away? There were problems with the weather. Well, it was silly to move here. Well, what do you mean? This place is much more exciting than Kansas. Do you ever feel like you're growing up too fast? Of course, all the time. But that happens to everybody, even animals. That's how I learned about it from watching animals on my farm. You had a farm? Yes. I'd love to visit a farm. Well, why? Farms aren't very exciting. Of course they are. Listen, farm, farm. What a wonderful sound. It even has the word far in it. That's what makes it sound so far away and exciting. Well, it doesn't matter what other words are in it. You can be near a farm and it would still have the word far in it. No, I think then it would be a near, not a farm. Get it? <laughs> uh, so, you said you left Kansas because of problems with the weather. Yeah, I mean, do you ever feel like you've been swept up in some big tornado and dropped down in some completely strange place that you don't understand at all? Hmm, that must be what it feels like to move, huh? Well, you get me. I get you. And now I've got to go. You see, I'm late for a very important date. Let's meet here tomorrow before school. Same time. Tick tock goes o'clock.